Hello everyone to a very nice high quality edited video again. Yay! DPS video is coming up. Um, today we're talking about the Umbra gear set, which is the new green gear set in the game. And the actual thing that you get here is like for two pieces you get 15% critical hit chance and for three pieces you get reload speed 30%, which is pretty cool. Reload speed is always good, brings up your DPS by a lot. But the actual gameplay with this gear set is like a little bit different because we have two buffs here which is called ah, I hate that slider uh, from the shadows and into the light so these are two buffs you can get so from the shadow works like this uh, while you gain in cover you gain 10 stacks per second up to 50 stacks so it takes five seconds to get the full buff up and it would give like one percent critical hit damage and increase your rpm by 0.3 percent so in total that is what 15 percent RPM buff and you have 50% critical hit damage. So obviously you would run a crit chance crit damage build on this one. The buff is not applying in the cover, so you need to get out of cover to activate the buff and then you have it active. While you're then out of cover and shooting with the active buff here, you can actually pre-stack that, you gain another buff, which is called into the shadow, uh, into the light. I'm sorry. So from the shadows is like in cover, into the light is out of cover. So while you're out of cover, you get into the light buff. And while you're out of cover in combat, gain 10 stacks per second up to 50. Each stack will give 0.8% armor and is regened when it's consumed. So stacks consume 10 stacks per second while you're only in cover. So you need to go back to cover to get the armor back kind of ish. Um, so it works like this here. If you're like in combat, you need to be in combat. So in the shooting range, we're always in combat. So if you stand out here, you can see the buff has applied already on the bottom here. This is like the into the light now. So if I apply to the cover, I will gain armor back. So let's damage ourselves a little bit here. And if you, I go to the cover now, like it will regen my armor. Yeah, it's, depending on how much armor you have, the more you will gain back, obviously. So it's not that much, but it will keep you alive while you're playing your game and you're just enjoying the, the gear set itself. And you've seen already, like why we're in cover here, the other stack, like this stack, goes down now for the into the light and we gain the into the shadows like from the shadows buff here which is the dps buff and if you then oh let's make this one here invulnerable i'm prepared you know yeah there we go bring it to five here and then we're gonna stack it up again so what you gain there is basically like this is a maxed out set here right now it has crit chance crit damage everywhere we run the coyote mask and we run the Cheska backpack for the crit chance, but we have crit damage and headshot damage on this one. All the other pieces for the, uh, for the Umbra uh, set here are actually on crit damage, so you don't need any crit chance rolls on these because you get the 15% critical hit chance from this one as well. So this gear set, in my opinion, is like kind of a waste if you play it with an SMG because SMG gives you another 20% crit chance and you go way above the cat no matter what you do. Uh, so. If you go out of cover now, the basically the damage here in cover is normal, it's 558, five, and we have 731 on the head. Let's reload here for the optimist, and this is like all the damage buff here, which you get like when you're out of it. 752, and we have almost a million, so 914k with a bullet on this gear set. And the buff you can see it like it runs out. If you stand still, it goes down quicker. And if you start running, it will actually stay up. A lot longer yeah, you only lose one stack per second if you keep running so you while you're basically gaming and you like you go into the cover get your armor get the buff up again for the into the um out of the shadows so then you go up play a little yeah just wreck some enemies in there and then you run around a little so you don't lose your stacks in between the fights you go back to the cover refresh the buff get out of it and shoot again the cool thing here is what you can do is actually you can keep the buff up all the time attached to a cover the buff is up now like while you're aiming press backspace key so you get out of the cover shoot and while you're reloading attach to the cover get back attach to the cover get back you can see like the buff is almost always full if you do this yeah it's a little bit of a hustle to do this all the time but it keeps your buff up very nicely here so it's always like maxed out kind of Need some timing, but you have like a really high benefit there. Yeah, so you can just stay zoomed in on the enemy and you just like attach to a cover and get out of it. Um, it's not really well with the shield here because you need to put the shield away, then attach to a cover, 
to regain the stacks here. And then you come out of the cover again with your shield. But the Optimist here, which you're running on the weapon, can get like more than a million per bullet, which is pretty cool. Like only on the end of the magazine kind of-ish, yeah? So this is how I run it. Um, you run an assault rifle here. You can also play like an SMG here. I really very much into the rock and roll at the moment because I think it's a great weapon to um, spawn trap basically the enemies if they spawn a door or something. This gear set is very well in legendary. You can play really good with that because you have the armor that you can have all the time and you don't need a healer in your, in your game group. So, And I run the gunner spec here. You can run this set with any spec you want. I just like the gunner very much because also you get like 10% kill for 10% uh, armor for each kill. You get um, higher fire rate for after each kill for five seconds. Uh, every third reload is faster. Uh, you have the foam nade. A lot of benefits on the gunner here. But you can run this basically with any other specialization. Good specialization would be, as example, the firewall. So you have the shield, put the plus 5% in there. So you have more damage in front of the shield. Uh, group members are standing behind you, do more damage as well. You could also run the technician. And then you basically run the technician. Uh, you have like two skill tiers then. Your shield gets higher. You can revive someone with one charge of your hive because you have two. Revive someone and you still have a charge for yourself uh, if you go down then. And then you obviously run the uh, laser pointer on the weapon. So you lose 5% crit chance. You need to recover for that somehow. And that's where you like basically have a Cheska backpack then with not headshot damage and crit damage. You just crit chance and crit damage on the backpack. And then run the laser pointer on the weapon here for the amplified damage and run the flatline tenet, uh, which will bring up your damage by a lot. But this is very comfortable to play here. And you don't have to switch out many parts because... This is kind of the same here as we played the Heartbreaker already. Heartbreaker is also the bottom four because the chest will give you more stacks. Yeah, So this the uh, chest here is basically from the from the shadows. So you have more stacks for the damage buff. It increases from 50 to 100 there. And if you run the backpack, this would only give you the into the light buff, the double stacking. So you get like 50, uh, you go up to 100 stacks instead of 50 for the into the light. So you get more armor when you go back to the cover. But that also means if you have 50 stacks, it takes basically five seconds to get the armor back yeah, when you go to the cover. And with more stacks, it takes longer time. So you need to be, you're basically forced to go to the cover for a longer time in that regard, which I really don't like. And I don't think like you really need the armor like that much. Um, it's good if you can like basically, okay, I got hit to the safety margin. So all armor is gone. My health is really low, like kind of like this here. Yeah. You hear that bang sound when you go to the safety margin Sorry, there, you hear it, yeah? And then you can basically attach to a cover to regain your armor a little bit to get out of that safety margin again. Which is pretty cool. Uh, it's very good for Legendary, as I said. Um, JJ, a friend of mine, played this set here in Legendary and he really enjoyed, enjoyed it. He also did like on the summit run, which we did, he used that gear set and it's very, very well. Uh, he almost never went down there because he can like heal himself whenever he wants to. Do not like so much onto these armor kits yeah so just get out of the cover a little bit run around yeah so if you're like behind enemies are behind a big wall or something just regen your armor before you go to the next fight you can do this like over and over again until your armor is full so you don't waste made kits uh, so much but the damage buff is really really good rpm feels great it's almost like a mini striker i would call it yeah so it's it's very nice to play. It's a different gameplay style, um, totally different from what we have in the game right now. And I really enjoy it. It's fun to play. I'm not I'm not very um, happy with the armor buff that you get there. Like you are forced to go to the cover for five seconds to gain the full armor. So basically means you got stuck five seconds in the cover, and that is a little bit too long in my opinion. If they would cut that down by half, I think it would be fine. And then this gear set would be really, really awesome and well on the upper list of the DPS sets, like for everything else. So uh, that's it for this video, I would say. Uh, by the way, pistol, you can play whatever you want. I just have the busy little bee in here, like getting the damage buff uh, every now and then uh, if you want to. But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, build the set, play it, uh, enjoy it, and just try it out for yourself. And we see you on the next video. Have a good day. Bye bye.